It is the Mavcast for the 21st of June, 2015. And guess what, everybody? It is Father's Day. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to everybody out there that uh, is a guy and is a father um, that has stood the um, stood their ground and taken the responsibility to take care of their child. With that being said, today's show is themed around shows for dads. So I have a few picks that um, would be good for dads to check out and this little action, little drama, uh, some things going on that I think they would appreciate. Some of them are old shows. Some of them are new er shows. And I think it's a good idea for you uh, to check out if you're a dad uh, that want to see some type of good quality TV. So the shows that I have uh, picked out, for dads, which is the first pick, uh, up first part of the show is uh, let, let's start off with uh, uh, oldie but a goodie. Um, my dad loved this show, uh, a lot of seasons like uh, eight, nine seasons. There are 24 episodes in eight of the nine seasons, and I want to tell you this show has revolutionized how we look at action on TV. It's pushed the envelope a lot. And it has stood the test of time. So if you watch it now, you see how it went along with with time. And this was set right after 9-11. If you don't know what I'm talking about yet, it is 24. Starred by Kiefer Sutherland. And he is a counter-terrorism uh, agent that goes through <laughs> a whole bunch of trouble to stop uh, terrorist acts from happening. Um, great show, great acting, great suspense, cliffhangers every episode. They pack in an hour's worth of action for each episode, and it takes uh, it takes place in the time frame of one day per episode, 24 hours. So hence the name 24. They live out a day. Each episode is an hour out of that 24 hours. Uh, to show what took place chronologically through that time. And the, the way that the show feels is that you're actually living that day with them. That That's the whole objective, and uh, it accomplishes that, uh, like, really good. So that is my first pick for dads. Now, if your father is a fantasy football fanatic he would appreciate this show now, i want to just put this in there because this is <laughs> this is one of the funniest shows on tv but it is a hidden gem and not a lot of people know about it that should know about it but the league the league it is a show on fx it's a comedy show and it's centered around a fantasy football league and the shenanigans that they <laughs> that they uh, go through um, and start that is surrounding that. So a whole bunch of family, uh, family situations, friend situations, awkward situations. It's always an awkward situation every episode, but it's hilarious. It has a mix of Curb Your Enthusiasm in there a little bit um, and a little bit of Seinfeld, but it's it's totally like a train wreck in a sense. Like someone... Every episode is going to be a train wreck, uh, but it's funny. It's it's hilarious. Uh, sometimes they have NFL stars on there, coaches, broadcast people. It's been on for a few years, so if you haven't caught up, caught, catch up, and it's going to be coming back this fall. As long as they keep fantasy football open, I'm sure the league will stay alive, literally. Uh, the next pick is House of Cards. The House of Cards stars Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, I wasn't really a fan of Kevin Spacey until this. Like his other movies were okay. Like Pay It Forward was all right. Um, he played Lex Luthor in Superman Returns. Kind of made me hate him for taking that part. I mean, he was, he was fairly good at playing Lex Luthor, but the movie sucked, so it messed it up for me. Um, but he basically plays a senator that works his way to the top 
by manipulation and corruption. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's all you need to know. So with that being said, go watch it. It is a drama, which is on Netflix. You can find it easily. It's a very popular show. The reason why I mention this, and I'm always mentioning House of Cards, is because it revolutionized how we watch shows, binge watch shows. So started the whole revolution on Netflix to load an entire season at one time so you could just binge watch it. It's amazing. It's amazing. It, you might think it's a little slow at first, but watch how the drama unfolds later on. It's a buildup, and you, you'll appreciate that buildup once you see the end result. <laughs> oh, I wanted to just say that. Uh, House of Lies. House of Lies is a I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be a comedy, but I find it funny. Uh, but it has Don Cheadle, and it's a about a thirty-minute uh, series, like a uh, show that's on Showtime, and it takes place in corporate America. So he has this agency. He's the head of this agency or group of people that are supposed to uh, convert numbers. So they take data dumps from companies and tell them where they need uh, improvement at and help them make more money. With all that being said, there's a whole bunch of drama, including his family drama, business drama, corporate takeovers, and all that. It, if it, Sex, lies, videotapes. <laughs> it has all that in it. Um, it has strong language and sexual content, so it is meant for dads and not dad's kids. So remember that going into it. You don't want to watch it with your kids. All right. Now here, my next pick, my next pick is a classic. A classic is maybe an understatement, but The Sopranos. If you haven't watched The Sopranos yet, please change your life now because James Gangolfini made a name for himself. This show has won countless awards. This show has revolutionized back then how we watch shows, how we get addicted to shows on cable television. The show has many iconic references. It is basically a mob show that centers around family life. And of course it has a whole bunch of mob elements like killing and and corruption and organized crime and number running and all that. But watch that show you will be thoroughly impressed of the nuances that go on and it's just the, the constant drama. And James Gangolfini plays the perfect mob boss. So watch The Sopranos. That's awesome. Now, here's another classic. Here in, when a, in a different area, though. So Dexter. Oh, Michael C. Hall stars in this one. So if you don't know Michael C. Hall, he was uh, one of the characters on Six Feet Under. You probably didn't watch that. But this guy is a forensics analyst for Miami PD. And he it, his purpose is to help catch serial killers. Now, the twist is Dexter's a serial killer himself, but he kills for good. And it takes you through his life trying to hide his serial killing identity, how it transitions over to his personal life, his work life, and how it hits too close to home. And when I say that and you watch what I'm talking about, you're going to be like, oh, wow. I'm telling you, this show is violent. It has times where you're going to be like, oh, so much gore, but I guarantee you will fall in love with Dexter. You can watch Dexter on Showtime anywhere, anytime, um, the app, or you can go on to Netflix and it has the entire series on there. The following kind of flows with Dexter a little bit, but... Uh, you have Kevin Bacon, and this is this is one of the best shows I've seen in a long time. Kevin Bacon stars in a Fox drama that 
actually recently ended and he plays an FBI agent that is kind of on hiatus but gets pulled back in because his past catches up to everybody else and there is a cult following of a killer that he is trying to stop and it goes through how it affects his life and the people's lives around him it is it is tv gory it's not cable tv gory but i'm telling you <laughs> Season one and season three are awesome. Season two bridges the gap between the two. So I'm telling you right now, that show reminds me a lot of Dexter, but with a different storyline. Watch the following and you will fall in love. I'm telling you, you can watch the show on Netflix, uh, the Fox app, or on demand. So the last one that I have picked right now is Daredevil. Now, a lot of guys love to watch comic book related shows. Comic book related shows. Yeah, Daredevil is one of them. We all remember the Ben Affleck movie Daredevil back in the day, like a decade and a half ago, but uh, we, we try to get over that. Now, this is a different take on it. This is more action packed. This is l better acting, in my opinion. Uh, it is a Netflix original that takes place in Hell's Kitchen, of course, if you know about Daredevil. And he fights organized crime, corruption in the town. So he's kind of like Marvel's answer to Batman. But he's supposed to be blind. And he fights his way to the top. Now, what I love about this show is it has the model of a video game. So he fights henchmen until he gets to the boss. And then they have their epic fight. Season one is done. And I'd say binge watch, binge watch it. It's awesome. Now, what I'm always going to pick, always going to pick, no matter who I'm picking this for, except little kids, is going to be The Walking Dead. So The Walking Dead is in what five seasons five or six seasons and it is completely crazy awesome i got on this tv show right before season two hit and i fell in love with it it's gory it's on amc it's gory i'm, I'm telling you right now it's gory it's filled with zombies because this takes place in the zombie apocalypse it's centered around atlanta where I reside, so it hits a little close to home. The acting is is pretty good. The the storyline is what makes it, and there's a graphic novel that it goes along with that it, they can keep the story going forever. So it's it's a love, it's a, it's a passion thing that you have to have for The Walking Dead. You either love The Walking Dead or you hate to watch The Walking Dead. And the people that hate The Walking Dead never watch The Walking Dead. So. Watch The Walking Dead. I mean, it's gory, but you get over that because the show is so good. Just like Dexter, you get over it because the show is so good. So that's my picks for dads. So if you have a father out there that wants to watch a lot of TV, is retired or whatnot, let him know that those are the shows to watch right now. Now, in this other part, I wanted to let you know of the shows that I'm currently watching that i believe are must see so far okay so far all right so we have of course the emmy award-winning show orange is the new black which is in season three right now which is all loaded on netflix so we finished binge watching season three and the shenanigans continue. The drama unfolds a little bit more. You, you follow Piper, uh, which is the lead character in the show, it takes place in a woman's prison. If you haven't known, if you haven't heard about, about Orange is the New Black, where have you been? Catch up. Catch up. This show is great. It's from the makers of Weeds. And if you haven't seen Weeds, please go back and watch Weeds. The last season is, uh, you can go without that, but hey. Weeds is one of those shows where, wow, it's pretty good. This is from the maker of Weeds and takes place in a women's correctional facility, of course, duh. 
And it goes through um, how Piper deals with um, different things going on around her in prison. And it actually goes in depth with all the main characters in the prison. So they do a lot of backstory so you can learn about them. So they're really, really big on character development. And as soon as you're like, whoa, are uh, they going to develop that character? They do. And they're still doing that. They're still doing that because there's so many people that are factors in the show with different situations that they have to do backstory so you can understand why they are the way they are. Uh, it's deemed as the, the flagship for transgender and lesbian, but it, you don't have to take that agenda if you don't want to. It's a still a good show. If you hate that, I'm sorry for the, that you feel the way that you do, but this is a really good show. I encourage you to watch that show. Season three is just as good as the other two seasons, so it keeps the magic going. Um, here's a new show that I came across, and the, the, the last two shows that I'm going to mention today real quickly are produced by Steven Spielberg, but they're on TV. Ah, now Steven Spielberg is known for doing a couple of shows on network TV to a sense. He has uh, Fallen Skies, which is on uh, TNT for a while now. Um, kind of like an alien show. Didn't really like it because of the characters, the actors. I, I didn't really like it, but he's a couple of new shows that you better keep an eye out on because it, it, so far it seems like these two shows are going to be badass. So, um, The Whispers. And we just watched a few episodes of The Whispers. They're still, it's still going on in season one right now. The Whisperers is about some type of being, probably alien, that is communicating with kids. To, it takes over their mind, influences them to do bad things to adults. Adults can't see them. So it's kind of like the, it's their imaginary friend for, for the kids. And it starts a string of violence that intertwines into a couple of families uh, really closely. And it's a race to find who is channeling this this energy this 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 uh this information to the kids before something really bad happens it's a really well done show really good acting really good storyline so far i'm really impressed three episodes in i'm all in right now so that's a really good show to watch that is on abc uh, the last one is proof a proof I've only seen the pilot because that's the only thing that was loaded. However, Proof is also done by Steven Spielberg, and it looks like this might be a winner too. This take this this is on TNT, uh, but this show is taking it, it takes a stance on what what happens after we die. So this doctor, this this world renowned surgeon has been summoned by a multi-billionaire that is critically ill, terminally ill, I'll say that, terminally ill. And he tasks her to find out what happens when we die. The age old mystery. And this is intriguing. I want to say it, this is intriguing. The show is really well acted so far. You'll see some faces on there that you haven't seen in a while on TV. Uh, the father from Scandal is actually on the show, which is cool. So Proof is basically a show that is trying to find proof of what happens in the afterlife. The pilot was amazing. I encourage you to watch the pilot, which is on demand or on TNT, whatever, TNT app or whatever you have. But the show has promised to be something epic. I don't know how long the show is going to last. I don't know if it's a short series. I don't know if it's going to be drawn out to a few seasons. It's hard to tell. It's also so, so also hard to tell with The Whispers if this is going to be a mini series or what. But both of these 
are hitting on all cylinders coming in to the gate, coming out of the gate, coming out of the gate. That's the saying. Coming out of the gate, this these shows are hitting on all cylinders. Um, and I think you should check it out. I think you should check it out. Now, with that being said, I want to also mention some shows that you guys maybe not have seen in forever. I just want to give you a heads up. Legends of Korra is out there, which is kind of like the follow-up to uh, The Last Airbender. So check that out. That's an amazing show. I'm, I'm trying to catch up on the seasons of that. Um, Transformers Prime. If you are a Transformers fan, if you love Transformers, go on Netflix or Disney XD and binge watch the hell out of Transformers Prime. Oh my goodness. That show is amazing. It's a computer animated show about the entire thing going on with the uh, Transformers. And it has the original voice of Optimus Prime. Don't worry. And it's a really good show. You say computer animated. I don't like computer animated. I don't either. But they put the money into this. And they put the effort into it. And it's an amazing show. Watch it. Watch it. Just tell me. Watch it. Bleach. Bleach is one of my favorite animes. If not my favorite anime, it's, it's battling between Dragon Ball Z and, and Bleach. Like Bleach is a grown-up version of Dragon Ball Z to me. So Ichigo Kurosaki is the main character, and he is a substitute Soul Reaper, which Soul Reapers is um, make sure that when you die, you get to the afterlife stage properly and not get stuck in purgatory. So they're supposed to do your transition and make sure that these hollow monsters, the hollow monsters are the ones that eat you, uh, eat the, the, the people in transition as strength. So they're trying to defend uh, the, the souls from that and trying to transition them into the afterlife like they're supposed to. So they don't turn into the hollows. And the hollows are the lonely ones that got stuck and blah, blah, blah. And they try, and yeah, it gets real bad. Uh, but it's over 300 episodes. So good luck if you haven't started watching it yet. <laughs> I encourage starting from the beginning so you can get all the story. Uh, uh, but it's an awesome, awesome anime. I encourage watching that. Uh, I think the first two or three seasons are on Netflix. You would have to find the rest of them on YouTube because Cartoon Network has taken it off TV. Now, Dragon Ball Z is coming back soon. I wonder how that's going to work out. Are they going to bring that back on TV? Or is it only going to be like in the uh, Japanese language and we have to watch it on uh, YouTube like we had to do a while back? So, hey, watch TV. Listen to, subscribe to the show. Find me on iTunes. Show's called The Mavcast. You can follow me on Twitter. You can leave your comments on the post here. Follow the blog you can, where you can find all the shows, episodes, whatnot. You can find that on themavcast.com. And tell your friends about the show. What shows to watch? What shows not to watch? I'm going to do a show on what not to watch. I think I'm going to do that. It might be beneficial to some people. And I'm, I'm, I'm still not endorsing Wayward Pines yet. Still not endorsing that yet. So hold off so you don't waste your time. Mav will go through that so you don't have to go through that. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful weekend. And again, happy Father's Day to the fathers out there, especially mine. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Everyone have a wonderful day.